Hey guys, what's up? It's a Eric. Today we're going to check out Jackbox Party Pack 3 for the Nintendo Switch. Now, Jackbox Party Packs are probably one of the most popular series of compilation games that you can have at any party or any group event. And now it's on the Nintendo Switch, which I believe is the ultimate multiplayer system. There are a couple of downsides to using the Nintendo Switch for your version. To begin with, you must always have it connected to Wi-Fi, but this is also probably the most accessible Nintendo Switch game for anybody because you don't play using your Joy-Cons. In order to play Jackbox Games Party Pack, you have to use a cell phone or a tablet or any kind of touch screen device as long as it's connected to the internet as well. You go to the Jackbox TV website, you enter the room code for whichever game you're in and you can jump on immediately. Most of these games are for up to eight players. Some of these you do need at least three minimum in order to enjoy them. So if you don't have that many friends to play with, it might not be your cup of tea because there's not really any single player offerings here. But the fact that it has a good variety of games and can support up to eight players, all with just cell phones, no Joy-Cons to buy. You don't have to buy extra Joy-Cons or controllers. Makes this a pretty easy game to play as long as you have Wi-Fi. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, that's going to be another downside. But in this day and age, it's not too hard to get connected somewhere, right? You just won't be playing this on road trips. Now to touch base on the five games on Jackbox, there's Quiplash 2, which is basically a fill in the blank, make something funny. It'll ask you a question like things parents shouldn't say to kids or things cops say to scare kids or to any, it would be a random question. You fill in the blank and everybody on the game gets to vote for the funniest answer. This leads to a lot of shenanigans. There's also audience participation in this game where they can vote on their favorite one as well. Next up is Trivia Murder Party Quiz. And basically what it is, it's a game of trivia where you and the multiple players are trying to escape certain death. It kind of has like a saw type of vibe. If you get a question wrong, you have to compete in some kind of unfair challenge that if you don't win, your character dies. But you still get to play at least until the final round. There's a lot of funny, spooky surprises in this. And some of the questions are actually pretty interesting. I, I had a lot of fun playing with everybody on this game. Gaspionage is a little bit kind of like a survey type of game. It ask you a question like you know what percentage of people blank blank you guess if you have to go higher or lower on the percentage thing the rest of the players guess if their real answer is higher or lower than what the person currently playing is the next one is faking it which is not entirely my favorite one in it only really works if you're all playing together in the same room with everybody you have your phone and somebody in the room gets picked as the faker but you don't have anything on your screen so you have to fake and try not to get caught. Everybody else has something on the screen. Like if it says like get blank, if you've done blank, raise your hand. You raise your hand and as long as you have it up, you're playing. So the faker won't know to put the hand up or whatever. So you got to watch the room to see who the faker might be, I guess. It's, it doesn't really work too well. TKO, you design t-shirts, you make some funny slogans, you draw on your actual phone funny stuff and then you basically have the audience vote on what the best shirt is you create shirts and it's interesting it's a fun little game there's some silly stuff that was made when i played so overall the games are pretty interesting faking it is kind of the worst one but quip it and tko tons of fun trivia murder party the games are all pretty interesting perfect like i said for a party environment beyond that there's not really much else to this game I gotta honestly say though, if you're not gonna be playing it much on your own, but it's one of those games that you should keep around on your Nintendo Switch library for the perfect time that you have a party coming up because it is a saving grace. So with that, I'll give Jackbox Party Games a seven out of 10 because it's not bad. It does its job in a party environment. It's fucking amazing. And it hopefully more of these games come to the Nintendo Switch. I mean, this thing is perfect for parties. And well, guys, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya.